everybody welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be super exciting on my first event take vlog of the year this weekend i have entered penny in capel actually no swan river ccn i'm running 45 classes which is awesome so like pony club 45 classes so i'm like yay we can enter that swan river ccn is probably around half an hour away from me so it's not super far but we are going to be camping tonight it should be a really really good event i have heard great things about this event so fingers crossed it holds up to my expectations sorry i didn't put up put up a vlog for you guys this week because uh the vlog that i was going to upload which was the um serpentine vlog never made made it to video like i never filmed much because it was an epic failure and yeah it just wasn't a very good event so my dressage is at 7 30 tomorrow morning my show jumping is at 12.30 and then my cross country is at 3.30. So I am the first one to go in everything, which is great. Um, I mean, hopefully it means we get out of there earlier, but I, I doubt it. It's obviously Friday and um, I'm going to go and finish getting dressed. I'm halfway dressed. I've got breeches on. And then go and put Penny in the stable, pack the car up, go out and wash her and then pretty much go. Because I want to kind of get there around lunchtime, have time to settle in um get all my yards set up and get a good spot because there's gonna be so many competitors this weekend so i think my class has like 20 people so it's not a huge class but um yeah there's definitely because it like goes all the way up to i think two star or three star or something so there's gonna be heaps of people there but um yeah hope you guys enjoy this weekend and um yeah let's let's go for rider attire i'm obviously a pcwa rider so i have to wear a tie and then I'm just wearing like a Kmart shirt because it's nice and cool under my, um, this is for dressage FYI and show jumping I think you have to wear this for and then I've got my um, pony club rally jumper formal rally thing um, and it's like a size 18 <laughs> um, so it's really big um, but it, it's comfortable like it's way too big for me but it, it's alright it does the job so I mean I don't know why I got such a big size but um, anyways, um, and then I've just got my spooks breeches, which I literally haven't washed since last weekend because I only rode for like 20 minutes and then put, uh, trackies back on over the top so they didn't even get dirty. So I'm like, oh, well, I'll just wear them again. <laughs> I've got warm clothes because it's going to be cold tonight. So just some socks to walk around the tent in, um, a shirt and then obviously my big thick jumper. So my riding socks, my lucky riding socks, and then just some trackies, which I'll probably wear tomorrow as well over my breeches whilst I tack up the grandma. So yeah, that's the, the fit. Noni had a hair cut, everyone. I don't usually like to have his ears cut, but the trimmer, or like the groomer, cut them. So now he looks like Lord Farquaad. So I'm just going to go check that these horses have water. I've currently got two horses like living here. They're like ex race horses, like trotters, that are just spelling clean. It's just bore water, so it's a bit dirty. Or well, like it's yellow. But yeah, that one there is. What's your name? Thunder. And then that one there is called Dexter. So. The reason why I had to be there so early is because I've got to also get my helmet tagged, which is something that EA have brought in. I know that people in the UK do it all the time, but it's not super common here. Um, they've only really just started it, I think, like last year. This is my herd of horses that I own. It's disgusting. That one's Grandma, that one's Nettie, and then the red one at the back is Chill. And then the wonky donk is somewhere hiding. There she is. Yeah, so now you Grandma a bath. And I forgot a lead rope. How smart of me. Such smart.
finished and done. I didn't take a after video. I literally always forget. Um, but yeah, I rode her, which I didn't get any footage on again. Um, but she was really, really good. So fingers crossed she's really, really nice in the test tomorrow. Well, as nice as Benny gets, like most be real. Um, but yeah, she's just, you know, little yard eating cape weed. Kind of annoyed about that, but um, it is what it is. She's like got hay, but she's like, nah, I want to eat the sweet grass. So she's already kind of like a bit foot sore. So not like foot sore, but like she had a pulse. So I'm like, Ugh. but yeah, I'm just waiting to get some dinner because um, I have to microwave my dinner. So yeah, I'm glad plating's over. That that killed my shoulders. The Dean Polish and uh, and the boys down there, uh, Mike Keatley and um, Sean and Stephen, they were they were a formidable formidable uh, pony club. Now, now, guys, I'm looking at this horse in the uh, in the ring right now, and, and she's just literally going to come past you. Is this horse as shiny as it looks on the TV screen? Yeah, it certainly is stunning. It's uh, certainly had the polish. Uh, this is uh, Rider 81, and this is Sophie Graco riding Daddy's paycheck. <laughs> And it tells me here that it's an off the track. I'm not sure about that. No, so Sophie had a dressage score of 45.7 and they're in 16th position. I think it's probably, oh, maybe it's a, it's a pacer, Sean. Look at oh, that. It's a little, a, it's wow. a little standard brick. Yeah. Yeah, well spotted. Wow. I was looking down and Mick saw the, oh. Mike saw the little shuffle there from yep. the, uh, in the pace. And I've got to say, uh, I, I did mention earlier our first horse that we had was a, a big trotter. and um, But the number of little standees now that we're seeing out here, and I'll tell you what, a lot of them are really sharp. They are really sharp jumping little creatures. And uh, you might be aware, Sean, that the off-the-track have this initiative now where they're retraining some of the horses. And Bailey Thomas has got um, the reputation as being the standard bred master. And she just has this ability to give the uh, off-the-track standard breads every opportunity to go out and, and enjoy life after racing. And uh, it's, we're seeing more and more of them, but this is a stunning example. Yeah, now, I don't want to be controversial here, but I can be. I wish they would stop branding on the neck. I, I just, you know, I'd like that to go. In fact, I would like microchips to be the standard. I'd like it to go so as 
you know, when these horses do retire from pacing, it's not so obvious that they are a ex-pacer. I, I, I just would like to see that. to this video on Tuesday uh, my competition was on Saturday and uh, I just didn't get around to an outro not for any real reason I kind of just I really struggle with the vlogging I really enjoy like the first parts and then I get annoyed at myself because I don't get the clips that I wanted to get when I was at the competition and then I'm like oh well there's no point me uploading this but I still have plenty of footage like if you guys understand what it's like like if you upload videos or like post videos you know exactly what i'm talking about like you kind of have a picture in your head of how you want the video to look and sometimes it doesn't turn out that way but it's fine dressage was an absolute disaster she got her tongue over the bit as soon as we went into the arena so i didn't have any steering any stopping i had nothing um and it's kind of a scary situation to be in because i'm like uh, I don't want to get eliminated, but at the same time, I can't just put my hand up and be like, oh, I've had a gear malfunction, like, can I fix it and then carry on? Like, I don't really understand how that works in dressage. Like, let me know if you guys understand how that works. Like, surely if my saddle, like, slipped or something, they would stop me and let me fix it. I, I don't know, though. Like, yeah, but anyways, the only reason she got her tongue over the bit was because she was in the wrong bit to begin with. Um, I had changed her bit a couple of weeks ago to a new shoe Verden bind or bend or something I'll put on the screen up here anyways um and she was going okay in it like she went she's been going pretty well in it but um I didn't have her flash on her show bridle because I shared the same bridle with Wonky and Penny and Wonky doesn't need a flash so she doesn't wear one with a flash and I didn't even think when I packed it in the float um she has actually gone back to her um, Steuben KK snaffle or something like that. Um, it's just like a tilted egg butt snaffle and she really likes that. So I'm just going to keep it as that because it's working for now. So her jumping was awesome. As you guys saw, she went clear and she was jumping really, really well. She was cantering over the fences. She loves jumping on grass, like absolutely loves it. So I was very happy with her for that performance. That was lovely. Cross country. It wasn't the best round. It's probably one of the worst rounds I've had, to be honest. She um, went over the first fence fine. And then the second fence, she stopped, like, pretty dirty stop. Um, I don't think she'd ever seen that kind of jump before. So, understandably, she's like, whoa, what is that? Um, but, yeah, I was like, Penny, what are you doing? Like, she doesn't usually stop at fences. So, I wasn't really prepared. Like, um yeah i i probably should have slowed her down and you know ridden her a little bit better to it as well like it's not all her fault obviously um but i know for when i go over this fence again at state eventing in a couple weeks time i'm going to slow her right down to a trot and actually just like make her step over it because um you know it, it's not a big jump so she can just do that but yeah and then she was fine um until we got to I think it was the fourth jump, which was the bank and they had put different colored dirt underneath, like before the bank to like level the surface out. And she was like, well, hold up. I am absolutely terrified of that. 
and she literally stopped like three meters out like dead bulk like whoa slammed on the brakes and i was like okay um so uh, yeah that was another refusal technically i don't really know why they counted it as a ref i suppose i turned her away and brought her up to it again um so i guess it counts as a refusal but um after that she was really really good um we did the fifth and then 5b i got a weird stride too and she kind of i don't even know what happened to be honest i can't remember it um this is a thing about cross country i literally don't really remember my courses or like what happened because it's happening so quickly like and i don't get any video or gopro footage from my cross country because pcwa doesn't allow gopros and um, there was no one filming my round or anything, so I can't exactly see what even happened. I, somehow I ended up on her neck and I was like, oh, I'm going to fall off. Like I was falling, I was falling off. She kept her head up and I managed to pull myself back up and keep going. And I was like, yes. I literally was like, oh, I'm falling. Like I was watching the ground come closer to my face. And I was like, oh, here we go. I'm falling. I've never fallen off at a cross country. Like I've never fallen off at a competition before. And, um, I'm going to fall. But no, she was, um... A very very good girl and looked after me and kept me on her back so big props to penny for keeping her head up because usually she does just drop her head um but i think because she was like so like adrenaline she had her head up in the air anyways so. yeah and after that she was perfect like went into a good rhythm um i'd kind of sorted out my shit after that and i was like you need to start riding better um and then yeah everything just came really really easy and i think we got into probably a little bit too fast. I think, yeah, I'm going way too fast, but um, I was kind of too fatigued at that point to to like steady her up. I kind of just had to get off her back and let her go um, because if I spent all my time fighting with her, I was already numb, so I couldn't really do much anyways. That was my eventing experience. I think we ended up 11th or 12th or something. I'm happy with it. I was very proud of her. I didn't fall off and you know, I had a good weekend. It was a, it was a beautiful event. I absolutely loved the event. So well done to Swan River um, for making it such an awesome event. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know this is kind of a long winded outro and whatnot, but um, yeah, I just thought I would put this in there because it's kind of weird just me finishing a video like, bye, I'll see you in my next video. Like no context, like you know what I mean? Next vlog will be the state eventing vlog, which I'm so excited for. So if you are there, please let me know. And I will hopefully either get some videos of your jump around or whatever, or you can be in the vlog. You can make my content amazing with your, that was really weird. You can make an appearance in my vlog. If you let me know, I'm happy to put you in the vlog. Give you a, give you a promo. Um, not that many people watch my vlogs anyways, but anyway, I will see you in my next video. Hope you have a good one. Okay, I'm I'm going now. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bye bye.